In this Lightroom video, we're going to take a look at the color grading command. And this is fantastic for adding color tints to your images, whether they be in color or black and white. Now we'll find the color grading tools here within Lightroom's develop module. And uh, the first thing to look at, at the top of the panel here, we have these different icons that give us different views. So this first icon gives us a three-way view here where we see a color wheel for the midtones, the shadows, and the highlights. Next to this, we can target either the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights. And we also have this global icon here that allows us to apply a universal color tint to our images. So let's start off here by looking at the shadows. Now, with the color wheel here, you can see we can drag this center point to add a tint to the shadows. So for example, we could add a, a pink tint or shift the color wheel in different directions to add a tint to those shadows in different ways. So let's perhaps add sort of a moody, bluish tint to those shadows like that. Now you can see we have these two circles on our color wheel. This outer circle here allows us to change the hue of the wheel without affecting the intensity of the color or the saturation of the color. Now this inner circle here lets us control the saturation. So you can see I can drag this inner circle here to make the color stronger or weaker and this inner circle here is sort of sticky so it sort of stays along the line of my hue there if i drag too far outside then it will shift to a different position but uh, it gives us sort of a sticky control there now if we expand our settings here you can see we also have saturation and uh, hue controls here that similarly change the position of those circles on the color wheel there's also a luminance slider here that lets us change the brightness of the color. So you can see we can make it lighter or darker using the uh, luminance slider here if we like. Now we can switch to the midtones or the highlights either using these icons here or we can click on the edge of the circle next to it here like this. So here's the midtones. Let's go to the highlights. I prefer to work on the shadows and the highlights before moving on to the midtones because I feel that gives me just a better idea of how the colors are going to blend in with one another. So with the highlights again we can choose a different color for those highlights and you can see with my image here we've got a pretty well defined split between our tones here. So we can see the shadows here in the foreground trees, the mid-tones in these trees here and then the highlights uh, in the brighter area in the misty backdrop there so you can see we can color that misty backdrop by tinting our highlights so let's perhaps go for a warmish tint to those highlights like that and then let's switch back to those mid-tones and then add a tint to the mid-tones, maybe a touch of green in the mid-tones like that. So you can see how we can really start to change the mood of our image using these color grading controls. If I toggle all of those adjustments off and then on again, you can see how we're able to enhance that somber feeling in this image. Now, there are a few other useful settings worth looking at here. If we switch to our three-way view to give us all three color wheels, you can see each gives us that uh, luminance slider beneath so we can fine-tune the brightness of the shadows, the mid-tones, and the highlight colors using these sliders here. Now the blending slider here can be useful if the sort of color changes look a bit abrupt in our image. We can increase the blending amount and this will create sort of smoother transitions between the colors. So you can see I can drag that across and the, the transition to those uh, warmer tones in the highlights is smoothed out. If I drag it the other way then our transitions become a bit more abrupt. So I'll bring it up a little bit higher. Now the balance slider here sort of determines what's either considered a shadow or a highlight. So if I drag it towards the shadows on the left here, you can see our image now starts to cool down because we're pushing the balance towards those blue colors in the shadows. If I go the other way, then our image starts to warm up because now we're pushing the balance towards those warmer colors in the highlights. So again, we can use this to fine tune things until we get the color tint that we're after. And of course, as I say, as well as tinting color images like this, we can also add fantastic tinting effects to our black and white photos. So if I hit V to quickly remove the color and just double click all of these circles here to reset them, you can see how we can add a color tint to a black and white image, perhaps by adding maybe a warm sort of tint to the shadows here and slightly yellow tint to give us a sepia effect like this. 
And of course, we don't have to add tints to all three color wheels. I'll leave the midtones as they are. And this way, I'm just tinting the shadows and the highlights. And this is sort of similar to the old split toning panel that we used to see in Lightroom that's been replaced now by this color grading panel. And if we come up with a color effect that we like, we can, of course, save it as a preset using the preset panel over here. So we just need to click the plus icon, create a preset. Let's call it uh, sepia color grading and choose a place to save it and then hit create and all of those settings will be saved in that preset ready to be used on other images. So there we go, that's a quick introduction to the fantastic color grading tools here in Lightroom.